Hi, this is Dreema, and today we are doing a client reading. And as always, I know who the client is, and they know who they are, but I won't be saying their name in this video. Now, today we're going to be using the Terra of Dreams. It's one of the decks that I am very connected to. And today's reading is a how does he or she feel reading, okay? And it's a love relationship reading. And basically, we'll be using three cards for today's reading. And how this works is that these three cards will be used. Now, this card on the my far left, that card is what I call the sex card. This card will tell us what kind or if there is any kind of sexual attraction between the person and the client. Now, this is a how does he or she feel reading. So it's a reading that will help us understand how the other person feels towards the client. So this card will tell us if that person has any kind of sexual attraction to the client and possibly what kind. The middle card is what I call the connection card. Now this card will tell us if the person has any kind of emotional or spiritual connection to the client. And last is the, what I call the love card. Now this card will tell us if there is any kind of love that the person feels towards the client and maybe what kind of love. Sometimes it'll tell us that. I'm going to start over here with the sex card. Okay. Looks like we have the two of coins. Now this is an interesting card because I'm not sure how well you can see, but um, there's a person and above them are two coins and their arms are kind of outstretched okay and what I'm getting from this card is that there is a sexual attraction that the person feels um, almost to a point of you know where they're actually kind of giddy about it however um, it looks as though this person has a choice to make um, as you can see there are two coins at the top as almost if this person is being torn in two separate directions. So what I'm getting is that there is a sexual attraction between that person and the client. However, this person actually has a choice to make and they're holding back because um, it looks as though there's the client and there's someone else. Okay. Alrighty, and this is our connection card. Now this is interesting, the Four of Wands, there's a doorway and there's actually some wands around it. So this card tells me that, you know, there are, there is some sort of emotional and spiritual connection that this person feels for the client. Um, however, it, it's almost as if this person is seeking um, something and as you can see through the doorway um, the door is slightly open so what that tells me is that there is an emotional and spiritual connection but this person is afraid um, they're they're afraid to walk through that door okay um, so there is something that is holding them back but they do have an emotional and spiritual connection to the client it's very tempting the doors open but they're just not able right now to walk through it next we have the love card okay this is the eight of swords now this is an interesting card i'm not sure how well you can see it but there are um, actually swords that are puncturing a bubble and there's someone in it who is very um, exposed and they're surrounded by a bubble. So what that tells me is that this person does love the client, okay? But this person actually has attempted to put a bubble around their life to shield themselves. Um, something, I'm getting something painful happened to this person in the past. And they've got a protective bubble, like a shell, that they've tried to build around themselves. And the swords are puncturing that. So what that tells me is that the client is affecting 
this person dramatically and emotionally and actually even causing them some pain um, because they are afraid they're going to be hurt. Um, they're going. They're afraid they're going to be alone and exposed. Okay, so there's a lot of fear that this person is feeling. Okay, but it does look as though they do have a sexual attraction, and they um, do have an emotional and spiritual connection, and they do love that person. But there's a whole lot of fear going on here, and this person has a choice they need to make whether to walk through that door. All right, that does conclude my reading for today, and I would like to thank everyone for joining me, and I do hope to see you all again.